Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Side News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the preview for the ECHL Kelly Cup Battle of Florida. As in the Kelly Cup playoff, the Florida Everblades are going to take on the Jacksonville Icemen. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above to keep the channel growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. We appreciate you guys' support thus far. Obviously, the Icemen with the goaltender of the year, Broussard, are coming off of the extended rest since they had a series sweep in their first round compared to the Everblades having to go to six games in order to end their first round series. So the rest is with the Iceman and Broussard, who was also played three of those four games and was able to rest in one of those games as well, where Charles Williams, because of the great goal scoring of the Iceman, was able to pick up a win in the first round as well. But this is going to be similar to the series preview I just did. This is going to be a fun one to follow also because of the goaltender matchup. You got Broussard in net, obviously, for the Jacksonville Iceman, but you still can't count out Cam Johnson either. He's been a very good goaltender in this playoffs this far. One of the few with the under 196 um, goals against averages. Save percentage, you went up a little bit higher, but that's also a team stat. And some of those goals, I mean, it would have been very impressive if he did save them. So I think... We have to factor those in as well to the Swamp Rabbits being able to really push their offensive pace better than a lot expected in that first round series and got to give credit to them as well. So I think a 9-18 is still very respectable. You do want to have it usually around, as many coaches say, like I said in the last video, 9-20 or up in the postseason to have the best chances, but 9-18 is right around there, so that ain't bad either. And then obviously he has the killer goals against Average. And was coming in off of a pretty solid 15 games um, in this regular season. So, he's not a guy that can be underestimated. Is he a Broussard? Absolutely not. Obviously, the goaltending matchup goes to a guy that's won the goaltender of the freaking year in the ECHL, Francois Broussard. If you want to go back and check out that video, please do so. I would really appreciate it. But, um, in this series, it's really going to come down to, obviously, the Everblades were the first place kahuna. The Jacksonville Icemen were the third place team in that South Division, but it's really going to come down to if the Icemen can continue to get their consistent depth offensive play. I mean, Howard, Chuck, Morton, um, Lynch did fantastic, Nazarin did fantastic, McKinnon did fantastic in the first round. Uh, so you have to continue to have that depth if you're the Icemen. Even uh, Howe did fantastic at filling out his role. So... If you can have all that come to place, obviously Brendan Harris went nuts uh, for them, the former Wheeling Nailers. So uh, he was able to come in and do very good in the Kelly Cup playoffs after playing a great 39 games uh, for the Icemen this year, but really stepped up in the postseason because he was good, obviously, in the regular season, but now in the postseason is even above a points per game where he was right around a points per game in the postseason. So obviously him keeping that up will be spectacular for them. Uh, Fortunato's been fantastic. Borzola's been good. Obviously, he's more of a guy that can push the offense, but great on the defensive end. Same with Giles, same with Friend, same with Hadfield. So all those guys have been doing it. Same with Panetta, uh, the guy that obviously has the least experience of the bunch, but uh, has still been doing very good. Has just played, I think, over 50 games in the league this season. But I think this is going to be a series... And so one versus a three, and usually you don't say this about one versus threes, but I think this battle of Florida is going to be very tight. I do think between Pendenza, Solo, uh, Gennaro, uh, Win Winiski, uh, sorry, I'm terrible with some names, Jeremenko, and McCarron, there is a little bit more punch offensive depth, obviously, with the Everblades, and that would put them in first place, in my opinion, in the regular season. Where, But the postseason is a different beast. Obviously, the Icemen had a much easier first-round series, giving them the fresher legs in this. So this is a very interesting series to pick. I do think... I don't know. This one I almost... Since, like... <clears throat> this one is really tough to pick the Battle of Florida, honestly, because even though it's a first- and third-place team, if you really look at, at it... It was only a nine-point difference, I believe, in the regular season between the two teams. And the Icemen really heated up in this postseason and just smoked the Atlanta Gladiators, where obviously 
I think people thought that was going to be a series, but I think more would have picked Atlanta than the Iceman, and they came in and smoke showed them. So, uh, where the Everblade struggled more with the Swamp Ravage than I would have anticipated. I'm honestly going to have to say this is an almost dead even one where it's just leaning because of the goaltender. I think it's the depth offense on paper goes to the Everblades, but the depth offense in the first round was also spectacular uh, by the Jacksonville Iceman. So if that can continue, they got the goaltending battle for that. I'm going to go by a smidge like I did with the Rapid City Rush Utah Grizzlies series. Check out that video. Um, I'm going to go by a smidge with the Iceman. They got the goalie of the year. This man has above a freaking 950 save percentage um, in the postseason. And he's going absolutely off. But again, you can't sleep on Cam Johnson. He's a very good netminder as well. But he's no Broussard. And because of the fact that the Iceman's depth offense, which was a concern to some, and including myself, stepped up, I think that's huge. Fortunato's huge. Borzola, their defense has played fantastic in the first round. And that's the key. If that continues, they have the goaltender of the year and they can get that enough offense, even like the three, four goals a game with the goaltending and defense they get, they could win this series, and that's why I'm leaning towards the Iceman because they also are going to have the fresher legs not having played the battle series and having played a sweep series in the first round. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below. Up above in the East Jews, Richard, to keep us growing to the goal of 250 or more by the start of June. Peace out, everybody.